Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Jared with Six O Bros. Today we're finally actually starting to work on the trucks. Or well, my truck, Josh is at his house right now. Hopefully he's gonna come down later and help out a little bit. But um, anyway, so today I'm doing an oil cooler change or an oil cooler replacement. But I'm also changing out my up pipe and Y pipe because I believe they're leaking. And uh, that gave me some of my issues towing. I was gonna do a towing video for you guys. But uh, because I was having some issues, I had to just focus on what I was doing to get where I needed to. But in the future, we're going to do that after this is all done here. Just to show you what I kind of have planned here. If I can get this to... There we go. That is from O-Dog Diesel. It's their uh, Y-pipe with the up-pipe welded in and their ported intake manifold. So you guys will get to see that now. To bring you over here just to get some of this started. The first things you need to do, empty your coolant, empty your oil. Because both of them need to be drained. So I am in the process of doing some coolant flushes. So I think I'm on like my third flush of getting that out there. It's still coming back yellow, but. So we're on passenger side here. I got these terminals already loosened up. So you wanna disconnect these guys. So um, these should be uh, done and there's a piece that holds it in down here. I went ahead and loosened that already. So now that's coming out and then just lift your battery out, which is always fun. Come to the other side here. And I already have these loosened up as well. So you wanna tuck these out of the way. And I take a big flathead screwdriver and I take this cap off here. And this has another one of these. You guys didn't see me remove it, but just take a second. Next, I have these screws all loosened here for the air filter. That's the next thing we're gonna take out. Your flathead again. This is again, if uh, you haven't watched some of my previous videos, this is an SNB filter. There's a new style they've since released since this one. I think this was, they, they keep updating their stuff. It's nice to see a company that even once they've released a product still tries to keep improving. I do like this one. You got a big open spot here on the side for it. Whether it does anything, who knows. And I have these bolts back here pre-loosened. Careful not to drop these. I've done it a few times. It's a pain in the butt. And first blood, guys. Not even sure how I did that, but I'm bleeding already. Oh, joy. Okay, guys, so here we are in the engine bay. Um, I do want to show you a couple small things. So uh, just take pliers and you can pinch this together. Move that down. It is up over at the top. That's what holds this hose in. And then just work this back and forth. If I actually get it in picture. Uh, 
There we go. You can set that over there. Then uh, over here, I have the coolant filter on, so I have different connections on here, but uh, normally it would be the exact same. So, and I run my coolant filter a little goofy because of how much hose they give you. So, we'll set that over there for now. Then, your degas bottle here, there's two screws that hold that in place. Get the second one out. And now your degas bottle, you can kind of wrestle out to the side a little bit. Now, so the, what holds this tube in on to the air box here, I disconnected those bolts. I loosened this connection and this one down here, unplugged my mass airflow sensor. So, sorry about the video here, guys. I'm by myself today, so it's a little hard to, there we go. So that's out. And then this piece, uh, unplug your filter back, the filter minder back here. Back up and out. I already loosened up your uh, crankcase vent system. If you just pull up, that'll come off already. Uh, on these 03 engines, which if you have an early 04, you have an 03 engine in there. The uh, crankcase vent system, the O-rings go bad all the time. I have uh, just bought like 20 of them on Amazon because you go through them. So, that's now off. The next thing we need to work on is our intercooler boots. So I disconnect, I don't, the part that's connected to the pipe I never take off anymore. You can ruin these pipes, they are metal on this, uh, you, but you can ruin them so you don't want to, if you can avoid it, leave them on here. Mine are going to eventually be replaced because truthfully I've probably already ruined them. But So I've loosened up here now, now I have access down here, I'm going to loosen this one up. Okay guys, so here we are. I'm not sure how much of this is coming up. Tried to get some light on here. So there's these two screws here you take out. And then there's two more here. So you remove those. And then I'll show you guys me struggling to pop it out because I didn't pre-pop it out like I probably should have. So there's no popping out. I just looked like an idiot trying to do that. But anyway, so this is now coming out so I have my bolts resting in there so just be careful if you do it that way that you don't lose them and if you're having a hard time getting this boot off you can take a pick or a flathead screwdriver and just kind of start helping it along you want to be careful not to damage your boots or anything. Okay guys, here we are, we're getting a little uh, further in. Uh, I had to loosen that, I didn't have it loosened enough. 
uh, down there. So I did just quick loosen that a little more then it popped right out, no issues from there. So as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit along here. So my intercooler pipes out now. My degas bottle is what I'm gonna show you guys how to remove next here. Um, sorry about the lighting. I'm really, I am trying to give you guys the best I shows a shot I can here, but uh, I, it seems like these LED lights really wash out some of the image, no matter what. So all that's holding, get this cap off here. See my growing parts here. So down below here, that clamp is now all that's keeping this. There's a little like detent in the rear that I just pulled it out of. So you just need to remove that again with pliers. Where are my pliers? Okay, so take your pliers here. Hopefully this is coming up. But just like that one earlier, you just, I might have to put the camera down to do this here. right back guys okay so here we have the degas bottle finally got it off this guy pull straight out because I already loosened those bolts up top here so 